Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you 15 features that you might not know about iPhone 6. Some of these are buried inside the settings menu and some of them are hidden inside the applications. In your iPhone, you can stop music playback after a certain amount of time. Just go to clock, then timer, and then set the duration and from here select the option stop playing. And the music will stop playing after the time you have set. You can go to desktop version of sites from Safari. Simply tap the URL then pull down to reveal the option. Then you will be able to visit the sites in desktop mode. Inside settings, general, Siri, you will have an option called Hey Siri. After you enable this, you can say Hey Siri to open Siri whenever your phone is connected to power you won't require to touch your phone. While typing, to delete everything you have typed, you can simply check your device. A new window will appear and pressing undo typing will delete everything instead of deleting one by one. Inside settings, general, uses, battery uses, you will be able to view amount of battery consumed by specific applications so that you can limit its use to save battery life iPhone 6 allows you to record full HD videos at 60 frames per second. But by default, 30 FPS is chosen. You can enable 60 FPS video recording from settings, photo and camera, record video at 60 FPS. After you enable it, you will see 60 FPS written inside the camera application. With the single press of the headset button, you can play and pause song and with double press you can skip songs but triple press will allow you to go to previous track whenever browsing menu or a list you can easily go to the top by tapping the top part of the screen this feature works in almost every application like app store music and many other to charge your iphone fast you can enable aeroplane mode, which increases the rate of charge. And using an iPad charger to charge your iPhone, your iPhone will charge significantly faster. You can double tap the home button to bring the screen down for one hand usability. This feature is very useful sometimes. You can go to a general accessibility and enable grayscale mode or invert colors which looks cool but as iPhone has LCD panel, it will not help to significantly increase the battery life. You can use the button in your headset to act like a shutter button while in camera application. This feature is useful while taking self shot. Siri can now identify songs. So by saying what song it is or what's this song or name this tune, and allowing Siri to hear the song, Siri can identify the song as it is integrated with Shazam. You can now change and arrange what widgets you want to be displayed in the today's screen in notification panel. Just go to the bottom and press the edit button. Then you will be able to view all the available widgets, add, remove and rearrange it. You can now change default keyboards from settings general keyboard then keyboards and add new keyboard all keyboards that you have downloaded from the app store will be displayed here so that's all about this video like this video if this video helped you and what do you think about these features do comment below and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching and see you guys next time